The national president, Nigeria Institute of Town Planners, Mr. Nathaniel Atebije, has called on the federal government to uphold the issue of professional town planners for national infrastructural development. He made this known during his news briefing with journalists in Abuja as he applauded the remarkable strides of the FCT minister, Barista Eze Mwenye Somwiki, and Governor Babajide Samuolu of Lagos State in transport infrastructure and also commended the Abia State Governor or to, on the progress made in power generation. Our correspondent Isanu, who was at the briefing, and brings us this report. The national president of the Nigerian Institute of Town Planners, Mr. Nathaniel Atebiji, decried the steady depreciations in the achievement of sustainable development goals, stating that it has evidently led to an overstretched and continued infrastructural decay. In terms of sustainability of our human settlements and communities, we seem to have lost grip of the sustainable development goals being faced with rapid urbanization in major urban centers, which are characterized by overstretched and inadequate infrastructure, weak institutional capacity to tackle environmental challenges of housing shortage and proliferation of slums, or informal settlements, economic glitches, as well as land administration problems. Nigerians have being compelled to live below acceptable living standards and sustainability. The pains here cannot be hidden. They are massively dotted over all our land space. The NITP boards reiterated on the need to develop a fortified resilience to stand up against environmental challenges whilst hammering extensively on the need to move beyond just mere rhetoric, especially in combating the periodic wave of pandemic outbreaks. Livable settlements are those that have the capacity to deal with issues of pollution, including air and water pollution, solid waste management, climate change related issues of flooding, coastal erosion, which threaten investment in housing and support infrastructure. Developing resilience to these environmental challenges requires going beyond rhetoric to getting down and one's hands dirty in ensuring that the human settlements management mechanisms work efficiently. If pot political will can get this done, we shall be making great gains as morality rates, I mean mortality rates are likely to reduce drastically. We condemn in clear terms the lack of professionalism and jungle attitude exhibited in the process of carrying out enforcement procedures in Plateau State recently, during which lives were lost and properties were destroyed. In his concluding remarks, Mr. Atebiji urged the government to show political will in funding and implementing development plans, emphasizing the importance of sustainable development and noted that Nigerians must vigorously pursue and practice sustainable development principles to address nationwide infrastructural challenges. Isanu, ASO TV News.